Hello, hello, and welcome to a tutorial video for crash landing. Uh, this uh, this video will be going over six different uh, building types that you can find in the uh, first city that you can actually come across uh, in the world. Please do ignore that over there. That was uh, testing purposes. Uh, this first building type kind of looks like a um, skyscraper of some sort. Uh, it has elevators, which are great for early game loot chests and uh, it also has some spawners uh, of the spider and zombie pigment variety. Uh, some of the loot chests can contain cobweb, glass bottles, even gun ammo and beef jerky. Uh, the cobwebs are actually pretty common uh, in the loot chests. Uh, also this reception looking table here, if you go over here and break that block you can actually find another chest in it. Uh, up above on the multiple floors you will find bookshelves, additional loot chests, and more spawners. As you can see, there's one right there, actually. As well as some decorational blocks, such as the jungle uh, chairs and desks. Uh, that is about it for this building. Um, there, there is quite a bit of loot to be had. Over here, we have another building type, which is kind of characterized by uh, the, these two kind of rectangular towers with a more or less sky bridge that uh, combines them. This building has uh, elevator frames in them, uh, as well as a few other things. Uh, it has more loot chests, it has spawners in them. Uh, this building also has quite a bit of wool in it, so if you need that for additional elevators or uh, anything else you need, such as sleeping bags, this is one of those buildings you would actually want to go to for those material types. Building three, building type three over here. Is pretty much two giant towers that are combined in the center. The center shaft is a uh, elevator actually but uh, it is always incomplete in some fashion such as there's no base in this one and the uh, actual frame itself is broken along the entire thing. And these buildings we have loot chests, spawners, blaze uh, in particular as we can see there's some blaze over there. Uh, quite a bit of wool. Uh, do keep in mind that since blaze do catch things on fire that the wool can be lost and uh, the elevator shafts for pneumatic craft elevators. Each floor is essentially identical and it is often in the shape of like an apartment building of some sort, where there's uh, one room on either side. Uh, there are also other types of spawners in here such as creepers and zombie pigmen. Uh, there's also a zombie spawner in this one, another blaze spawner. I believe the spawners can actually be randomized uh, depending on the building, where it is and stuff like that. So do keep in mind while what I show you for this particular building is what it is for this particular building, it doesn't mean it'll be that way for all the other buildings. Uh, but yeah, for example, this chest has a uh, bunch of ender pearls in there, four of them, some more cobwebs, uh, that's actually a common theme with the loot chest, a bowl and a glass bottle. Uh, let's see, building type four is actually an important one. Uh, this is a pneumatic craft building. Uh, this is where you can get your pneumatic craft stuff early game. Uh, this also has additional elevator shafts, which you can see kind of over in that corner. The elevator base, which you actually need to actually use the elevator shaft, and I said actually a couple times there. As well as additional loot chests, um, specifically related to pneumatic craft. Uh, this one also has a redstone energy cell in it. I believe that was actually manually placed there. Uh, this square here, if you break this, you'll actually find a creeper spawner in there, which I actually broke. As well as there are some pressure chamber walls, which you need for pneumatic craft. Some additional pneumatic craft uh, machinery. And uh, compressed iron ingots, pneumatic helmet, seeds, and unassembled PCBs in that particular chest. If we come on up here, there'll be another spawner here, by the way. Uh, I broke that one as well. Uh, in this one, there's more compressed iron ingots, uh, more seeds, and the pneumatic wrench to give you some idea of what you can get in these. Uh, this building is actually fairly easy to take over really quickly, since there's only two spawners. If you know where they are, you can get to them really quickly and not have to worry about it. Uh, but the fifth building type is another one of major importance, uh, especially when you're trying to do your own thing. This is the Tinker's Construct and Tinker's uh, Steelworks building. 
This has mob spawners, a uh, creeper in this one particular, the Tinker's Construct and yeah, Steelworks uh, blocks, as you can see here and uh, there, as well as some loot chests that are often related to uh, Tinker's Construct. For example, in this chest we have Scorch Bricks and an Alamite Axe Head. Uh, here's a casting table and some of the steelwork blocks. And this also has elevators in it, which are another good source if you want to get uh, elevators early. This also has filing cabinets, which are great for storing uh, like leather pants or stuff like that, where you can get them from a mob farm, uh, either from the spawners here or a natural grinder somewhere. Uh, for the unenchanted enchanted rarity of the same item can actually go into a filing cabinet and that can actually hold a lot of them, which is great for storage. This chest up here actually has the high oven controller, as well as another Alamite axe head. The high oven controller cannot actually be crafted in this mod pack, which is a good thing to note. So you can actually you actually have to go to a city in order to do anything with steelworks. Uh, the sixth and final building type I'll be showing off in this uh, video is this one. It essentially kind of reminds me of a town hall, but once you get inside you'll notice that it is actually not like a town hall at all. Uh, these buildings often come equipped with uh, multiple spawners, uh, quite a few spawners actually, uh, elevators, lots of bookshelves, so if you want to get enchanting early on or something of that sort with the books, feel free to come here, as well as uh, more loot chests. Uh, these also have elevators, which, did I actually mention that on the sign? I did. Apologies for the duplicate information. Yeah, uh, you can easily see that this is more like an office setup with uh, cubicles. There's a spawner there. Uh, and let's see, I believe there is also a chest under here. Yes, there is. Yeah, that is some of the items you can get in there. Let's head up uh, one floor. Let's say the next floor. It looks like a bunch of cubicles put together. And here's another spawner over there. Uh, there's not a whole lot of loot chests in this type of building. So if you really wanted books, I would say come here, otherwise it's generally not worth it. There is a spawner behind this block though, do keep that in mind. And there is nothing behind that block, so... Really the only things here I would want is probably the bookshelves and the elevators along with the one loot chest that is under this block. Other than that, those are the six types of buildings I'll be demonstrating in this video. There's a few other types like a uh, reactor building where you get the big reactor stuff uh, as well as a subway type station and there's one other type I can't remember the name of but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys learned something and a uh, point of reverence this is actually the first town you come into contact with from the base that is right over that way a couple hundred blocks or so but yeah I hope you guys learned something and until next time take it easy